Hi everyone, this is Tyler from ORATS, and today we'll be walking through our most popular tool on wheel, the back tester. We've packed a lot of functionality into the back tester, so we're going to break this video down into three sections. Creating a new back test, managing your back tests, and optimizing and combining back tests. Let's start with creating a new back test. Click on the Create New Back Test button on the right hand side of the screen, and you'll see the three steps for creating a back test. First, we want to choose a symbol that we'd like to test. You can enter multiple symbols, and the back tester will run the same strategy on both. Next, we choose a strategy. This can be bullish, bearish, or neutral. You can choose anything from a simple one legged strategy like a long call or a complex four legged strategy like an iron condor. Once we have our symbol and strategy, it's time to choose our parameters. As you'll see, most of the parameters are optional, but it's required to set the days to expiration and delta. The back tester already pre-fills the target, min, and max for you, but feel free to customize these values as much as you'd like. We can edit additional optional parameters by clicking the button at the bottom. This pulls up a sidebar where we can edit entry and exit parameters, as well as relationships between the legs. These can be overwhelming at first, so don't feel like you have to edit each one. You can click the edit button to pull up a pop-up with more information. One of my favorite items in this list is the exit on profit loss parameter, where you can define a stop loss or profit target for the strategy. Our blog, which you can access from the home screen, includes many in-depth articles about the functionality of most of these parameters. I've personally used the blog as an educational resource, to explore which parameters I should try out in a backtest. After you're done customizing your backtest, click Run Backtest and the process will begin. Once we've run a few backtests, it's time to start managing our list. When you click on the Backtest tab, you'll see a list of all of your prior backtests. From this list, you can delete, combine, and optimize different backtests, as well as view reports and add notes. Let's start by pulling up a backtest report to analyze the results. Simply click on a backtest to show its report. In the report, you'll see a summary of performance with metrics such as annual return, sharp ratio, and sortino ratio. You'll also see a graph of the underlying symbol overlaid with your backtest, so you can compare the performance of the two. There is also a breakdown of monthly returns and a complete list of the trades that were made during the backtest. Let's navigate back to the backtest history page. If you don't like how a backtest turned out, or you simply don't want to see it on your page anymore, click the checkbox on the far left side to select that backtest, then click the delete button at the top. You can also write down a note for each backtest in the notes column. We can only show so much information on one screen, so a note can help you remember important parameters or other information that is relevant to that backtest. Combining backtests can be done with any kind of backtests, regardless of symbol or strategy. You can define weights for each backtest, and the system will take those into consideration when calculating performance. You can see how those strategies would have performed together. In contrast, optimizing backtests can only be done on backtests with the same symbol and strategy. For example, I have two Spy Iron Butterfly backtests. They each have different days to expiration, entry days, and profit targets. Optimizing these two backtests would show me the optimal combination of all of the parameters in each backtest. For example, we may find that after running this optimization, the top performing SPY Iron Butterfly targets one month to expiration, no entry days, and a 75% profit target. The backtesting engine does this by creating a maximum number of individual backtests based on the difference in parameters. That number is shown here. Don't worry about the cost, you have a thousand free optimizations per month. Once an optimization is finished, you can view the output in a table similar to how you would view a backtest report by simply clicking on that optimized link. We've been developing our backtester for several years, and we're confident it is one of the best ways to explore historical options data and generate ideas for new strategies. As always, we're happy to hear any questions or comments about our backtester or any of the other tools on wheel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.